We're at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, and we're with G.B. Cornucopia, interpreter from Chaco Canyon. And G.B.'s going to show us about this new display here at the museum. Hi, G.B. Hello. How are you? Great. So uh, tell us about this. Well, this is a brand new device. It's really a, a great educational tool in terms of showing this particular site that lies on top of a prominent feature in Chaco Canyon that many people believe has a lot of uh, astronomy involved in it. And that is the sun dagger. The sun dagger is what it's been called, yes. Yeah. So can you show us how to use this? Well, you've got, uh, uh, you've got time and you've got space. You've got direction that you can move in. You've got uh, orientations. So we have on the screen, from a, a larger point of view, three slabs of sandstone, which you can see here. Uh, leaned up against the cliff. This is on top of a high butte uh, in Chaco Canyon and uh, beneath the uh, slabs, you can see if you look down underneath them, uh, on the cliff face are two petroglyphs, two spirals. And every day at the midday when the sun is high in the sky, it comes down between the gaps between the stones and then plays in very interesting ways on these two petroglyphs. The solstices and the equinoxes seem clearly to be marked here, and uh, some say the lunar cycle. And uh, this is a display that allows you to move around from any perspective and even change the time. Uh, let's see, let's choose winter solstice. We push winter solstice, and then we see how the sun plays on the large spiral underneath these two slabs. So this is an excellent tool, uh, a digital tool, for showing how this site can appear. Uh, what you're seeing is uh, the data that has been gathered by one researcher who has put forth probably the most far-reaching theories, Anna Sofer is her name, about this site. And uh, she's done a lot of work over the years to allow this digitization of the site to occur and then to be put in this interactive mode where people can come and uh, be at the site in, in virtual reality. Choose any time, choose uh, any perspective. It's a very interesting tool. Now, this is an important display because it, w when one visits Chaco Canyon, you may not go and visit this petroglyph. That's correct. That site is off limits for a couple of reasons. Uh, safety. Uh, it's still a bit of a sporty climb to get up there. And also, there are a lot of sites. Uh, this site gets all the PR. There are two buildings. There are lots of other things, other rock art sites up there. And it's really difficult to manage the impact of people going up there. And some of the sites, including this one, has been destroyed. So what you're seeing here no longer happens in the same fashion as uh, you can make it work here. And uh, that's because the slippage of the stones. Those big slabs, uh, there wasn't much soil at the base of them. People walking up and standing next to it, wearing the soil down, and then the slab shift. Once the slab shift, the light play's gone. Now I think that the, this site, uh, this particular interactive tool, can allow you to see how the slippage worked, what's happened, what the impact has been. But the classic sun dagger site, as it is described in a straightforward manner at this site, is no longer there. This comes out of the research uh, of Anna and her group, uh, the Solstice Project, going up and gathering data gathering the data, digitizing the whole site. Now this was almost revolutionary and people had tried it for a while. She'd even tried it a few times. She could tell you more of the details of how it worked, but she, she finally got the people together who had the proper technology who could go up and in a couple of days take all of the points of data that were necessary to then put that into the computer and create this display. And uh, this is something that couldn't have been done 10, 15, 20 years ago until we had digitization to the extent that we do and every point you can you can digitize you know uh, then you can put it all together I say this like it's easy into this display and voila we we have a, a complete virtual representation of this site Yeah. Hey.